Oh, it's a windy day in Hawaii. So I'm at Don Quixote right now, and I'm actually really, really craving some uh, takoyaki. So I've been actually craving takoyaki for like the last couple of weeks, I'd say. So I wanted to go and go to my favorite takoyaki place, and that's Takoyaki Yamachan. So there's really no particular theme to this video. I guess the theme would be like the kind of stuff that I'm craving because in this video, I'm actually going to go to a bunch of places that I've been craving for like the last couple of weeks, actually. Okay, so let's go get our takoyaki. All right, everybody. So I got my takoyaki right here from Takoyaki Yamachan. And I think Takoyaki Yamachan is one of the oldest or probably is the oldest takoyaki restaurant in Hawaii. So it's more, I think, you would consider it fast food. But originally, they were at Shirkia at Al Moana. So they have a location at Don Quixote in Honolulu. And they actually have a location in the Kakako Farmer's Market, I believe. But anyways, so here is my takoyaki. Look at this. So if you're not familiar with what takoyaki is, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are, especially if you're from Hawaii. But takoyaki is basically a flour and egg ball with octopus inside of it. There's also Japanese mayo and tonkatsu sauce over it with some bonito flakes as well. Okay, so I'm going to go and take a bite out of this takoyaki. It's kind of hot. <laughs> so when I bite into this, it's soft and gooey on the inside and certain pieces it's kind of crispy on the outside but because it's been sitting in the sauce it kind of gets it a little bit um soggy a little bit but certain areas is kind of crispy and you can taste that nice chewy octopus right on the inside hmm. so this is the inside of the takoyaki and we have the octopus right here it's actually a small piece in this particular one but it varies in size depending on you know like if you're lucky or not so if you guys know any other good places for takoyaki let me know takoyaki yamachan is the place that i normally go to to get takoyaki i've actually tried another place just a week ago but i didn't really care for it so right now my go-to is takoyaki yamachan but let me know in the comments down below where I can get really good takoyaki at. Okay, let's open this one up. Let's see if we can find that octopus for you guys. All right, we have a little bit bigger piece right here. All right, so we got our appetizer out of the way. Let's go get some garlic shrimp right now. All right, we got some bad news. So I tried getting garlic shrimp, but Taka's box lunch actually has like an hour and a half wait. So they're super, super busy and slammed today. But I really actually want to try their garlic shrimp plate. But, you know, it's, it's a special that they have. So they don't have it every single week. But unfortunately, the wait was kind of long and I, I couldn't wait. So instead, we're going to go to Surge's in Manoa. And we're going to go and get their lingua burrito i'm so sorry if i butchered that but it's basically their cow tongue burrito and i had this the other week and it is awesome so we're gonna go get that right now okay so surges didn't have the cow tongue burrito today but they did have the cachete burrito which is basically beef cheeks so that's the protein in the burrito but um sorry i forgot to say that surges is actually located on east manoa road in manoa right across the street from the first hawaiian bank building Okay, so let me show you guys what I got. All right, everybody. So here is what I got from Surge's Kitchen in Manoa. So this is their cow cheek burrito. So let's go and dig in. We also got it with some mild green sauce right here. I forgot what the name of this was. Okay, so let's go and dig into this burrito. We got some of that mild sauce right here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the cow cheek in here, it tastes like shredded beef. And it's super moist and tender. And it's very, very fatty. Wow, I'm really um, happy with this burrito. It's, it's kind of oily. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just like kind of dripping down. But there's a lot of fatty flavor in here. <laughs> this is actually kind of getting messy. You guys see all the cow cheek in there? It just falls apart. So this is packed with beef cheeks and there's also guacamole and there's some salsa in here as well. So there's tomatoes and onions. All right, we got that perfect bite right here. We got some rice, we got some beans, and we got some of that beef cheek right there. Mm. Where do you guys like getting your Mexican food at? Let me know in the comments down below. Normally when I get Mexican food, I come to Surge's, but I really haven't had much experience eating at a lot of Mexican places. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys let me know where you guys like getting your Mexican at. Man, what can I say? This is a really good burrito. I think I like the cow tongue a little bit more just because it's not as oily. So if you guys ever do go to Surge's, you guys can check this out. This is really good, but the cow tongue is even better than this in my opinion. I'm a really big fan of tongue. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. If you wanna go and support this channel, do me a favor and check out my Buy Me A Coffee account. I'm gonna leave the information in the description box down below. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll see all of you guys next week.